What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be doing the Terminator Power Mod. So we have the Power Mod here from the amazing Chloe Power for Model Mods and just look at that package and absolutely superb. So basically what is the Power Mod? The Power Mod is just instead of having the batteries in the Terminator we are going to have it plugged in so that we can have it into the mains electrics so that we can power it so we don't have to keep replacing our batteries. So I'm going to show you how to install this right now. What we're going to do first is strip the Terminator down and then show you how to do it for yourself. Right guys, once you have torn down your Terminator, so all you need to do is literally just lift him off his stand, take the two bottom panels off at the bottom, and then you just need to slide out the main back piece that supports him, and then you should have something that looks a little bit like this. The next thing you need to do is just take your battery section here and just unclip it so that it's unplugged. As you know, it's just at the back here plugged in. So you just need to get your terminal and take that out so that is removed what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be working on this section and we won't be needing the battery section for this mod so what we're going to do now is we're going to take out all the pieces uh, for the power mod and then we're just going to talk you through uh, where they're going to go and then we're going to build him up until that he's powered by electricity so let's do that now right guys so here we have it let's have a look inside and see what we've got always amazing packaging it's absolutely superb packaging it just comes so well done this obviously didn't come like this this was in a, a box with plenty of bubble wrap uh, when it got delivered to me i just uh, da -da. and look at that so it's even scribed on here just saying modern mods as well so well done so what we'll do is we'll just take this top section off here and the little thank you card and then it also has the link on the back there just so you know uh, where to go if you want to it says to install this product please visit the page below please share your purchase on my page so basically if you want to you could go to those websites i don't know if you can see it on here but i will leave all these links in the description as well so that you see that i just want to talk you through what you get in this kit so the first thing that I'm seeing is the file. So this file will be for the back of the Terminator's head because we will need to file a little nick it out of the back just so that the cable can go through. So that is going to be for that. The glue here as well is to glue in the section of the cable that will be going in the back of the head of the Terminator as well. So it comes out of the head, goes down and there's a bit in the spine, but we'll show you all this anyway, but this is going to be to hold that in place. And then the rest of it is just going to be, uh, this one says it's the pole cable stickers. So when the cable is running down the back of the pole, this will be sticking the cables to the back of it. And then on this section here, this is the main harness base head. So this is the piece that will go from the back of the head all the way down. And then this is the main power cable. Everything is labeled and just is really good. So this is what's gonna go through this section. So this is probably gonna be the first bit we do. And this is going to go into here. And so we can pretty much just plug it in and have it on whenever we want. So we'll go through that in a moment. Uh, the other bits that are in here. So there's the switch for the cable. There's the adapters for the plugs as well. So then obviously if you're in the UK or if you are abroad, then you can use the power adapter so that you can use the Terminator for any of the mains. Uh, we also have another bit of the plug there. Uh, so they have four of everything here because as you can see, you can plug it in anywhere on the go. And then you just have the main power cable and this is actually pretty decent. Uh, so this is the power extension cable and you can have it quite far away because there's quite a bit of cable there. So as you can see, this is everything we will need to do this. Uh, I will talk to you through this as we go along, uh, but the only other thing, look at the packaging, look at that box. That is just, that is pure quality right there. I'm just going to put everything away that we don't need. So we won't need the uh, the plugs for different countries. So we will just need all that. So 
this is what we'll need for this video anyway. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is installing the main power cable section here. So I'm just going to get everything ready and then we're just going to get on with how we're going to put this into that section there. So stay tuned. So the first thing we need to do is install this adapter so that we can plug the power cable into the back. So as I said, we just removed the battery section. All I've done here is I've just done a quick small pilot hole through here. I mean, obviously you can have it any way you want to have it on this. So just make sure that it's not in place or anywhere where those lines are so that it's in the way because you will need to get your nut on the back section of it and if that's in the way you won't be able to do that so we're just going to go through now with the bigger piece now we have our pilot hole we're just going to drill through with our bigger piece and i'll just tell you the size of that as soon as that's done All right guys, so there we go. So we have our hole. So this is an eight millimeter hole that we have drilled in here. I always recommend going through with a small one first and then working your way up because what the worst thing you wanna do is break the plastic. If you have a piece of wood, it'll be better to lay it on a piece of wood while you're drilling down. Uh, but I've got one that goes at a very low speed. So I've been taking my time doing that. So what you need to do is thread the cable end through the hole like so. And that will just sit in there like that. And then what you need to do is hold that on with your finger and then you will just need to put the nut all the way up through the hole here. And then on the other side, you just will need to just screw it down. So I'm just gonna quickly do that by hand. You possibly might need to tighten up with something else or you can put a little bit of glue on the back just to keep it in place. But I'm just tying it by hand for now just to show you guys. And there you go, so look how neat that looks. So that is going to be where we plug the power cable into. I do have the cable here now, and I'm just gonna show you how long this cable is. So this is plugged in down the side of my table here, where by my YouTube area, and this is all the cable that I still have left over. It's just absolutely perfect, because if you wanna just have it somewhere, look how much cable you get. It's just amazing how much you get. So I can have this pretty much anywhere uh, in the room that I want to have it so that's going to be so helpful and then as you know when you come to plug it in what you'll do is you will just put it in here and then that will plug into there nicely like that and that's how it's going to look at the back so perfect really nice so what we're going to do now is we're just going to move on to this section here just to show you where it's going to go so I'll just put it at this angle so this is going to sit in how it would do, obviously, if it had the batteries in. So it will go in there. Pull this way out, sorry. Just in there like that. Uh, what would they recommend on this is if you had some super glue, you could just glue that into place so that it stays there. We will be molding this into one piece at some stage. But as you can see, look at that, how neat that looks coming out of the back of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a little bit of glue on there, hold this into place now, just so it's done, and it's not gonna go anywhere. And as I said, they do supply, do supply the super glue with it, so you don't have to go and find some. So we're gonna glue that on there now. Once you've glued that into place there, as you can see, that looks really nice now. So we just have that sticking out the back. Really nice, and as I said, We've just got this cable here, but we need to connect it to these other two sections, which is fine. So what we're gonna do is we need to take the main harness base head, which is just this section here. We're gonna just take it out. And I'm gonna show you what we have inside. The clever thing about this, guys, is what you're gonna be really excited about, is there is going to be an adaption for this for the actual Terminator gun as well. So this is gonna be powered so that when Chloe brings out the mod for the gun, you are gonna be able to plug into this as well at a later date, and you are going to be able to power your gun as well. So when she does the plasma rifle, that is gonna be absolutely insane. So I cannot wait for that to happen. Right, so as we can see here, this is where we need to start joining everything together which is what we will do 
So on this end here, you have two connections. So they're the two connections. One of these will go into the circuit board in here. And then one of these is gonna plug into your power cable section. So it's gonna be pretty easy. So you just wanna make sure red is to red and black is to black. And she has got identified cable uh, dots on each side, so you can't get it wrong. And then once that's done, you will maybe need to stick that down or hold that into place. But this then will plug into where your battery one came out of. So just make sure you get it around the right way. It's quite easy to not get it wrong because it only clicks into one section. Once that's done, as you can see here, we now have this lovely piece of cable here, and that's gonna be going all the way up to the Terminator's head. So we just need to feed that through. We just need to feed that through the hole. So just do the hole that's closest to you. The only reason I say that is because you wanna make sure you've got plenty of cable in. So once you've fed that through there, that will all sit down in place, like so. And what we want to do is possibly just make sure we've got enough sitting inside, like so. So once you've done all that, the next thing we need to do is go get the bottom base section and just feed that back through again. So I'm just going to go grab that now. And then we've got the bottom base section here, which is the heavy piece. And as you remember, this just slots into here. So you need to just slot it in beside the cable. So just make sure that the cable is okay and that it's not gonna get caught on anything. You should be fine once you've pushed those little tabs in. It's the little push tabs that are what, what stops it from going in the holes. So you just need to make sure you get past that. And then once you've slid all that into place, you'll be able to see here, if I turn it around, that it's covering it all up on that side. But what I want to do, we're going to screw, we're going to put all the screws back in on here and we're going to put the base plate back in so that that's done. And then we're going to flip it up this way. And then what you'll be able to then see is the cable is coming out here. So look how neat that cable is. So the cable is coming out here. And that's going to run all the way up the top very neatly and if i turn it around so you can see on the back you'll see where we're going to plug it in so make sure you don't snag anything so on the back section here this is just going to plug into there and then we'll be powered up so what we're going to do is going to move on to the next stage so we're just going to connect the top bit but we'll bring the camera up a little bit more so you can see what we're doing and yeah we'll carry on doing this power mod right guys as you can see here i have now just put all the base back on so just put the four screws back in there for that section the two top panels back on here just so we can just get an idea of how neat everything looks so now we have our cable coming out here which is really nice so what we need to do here is just pop that around the back and then what I need to do, you're not probably going to be able to see this section, but it doesn't really matter too much. I just need to put this top section back on, just so we've got something to attach it to. Right, so that's now clicked into place. What I might do now, we do need to stick the Terminator back on there, and then we need to feed this through onto his head and stuff like that. So, But we will need to remove the battery box on the back of the Terminator's head as well. So we're gonna just get him around and then we're gonna have a look at that. And then also remember, we still need to file the section so that this cable fits into the back of his head. And that has been supplied by Chloe. So amazing. Right, so we're just gonna turn him around and we'll do that now. If you own the Terminator, you will know how heavy he is and you will need to lay him down flat onto something. So I've chose to put him face planted down onto this foam, just so you can see. What we're gonna be removing is gonna be the battery box here. So we just need to take that top terminal out here like that. And then we just need to slide and remove the battery box because that is in the way. We don't need this, we won't need this because obviously this cable is gonna click into the top of his head and it's gonna be out of the way there. So that's gonna be perfect. As you can imagine, because the cabling 
is going to be coming up underneath here into the back of the head it is going to be in the way uh, for the head here so that will slide underneath there and that will fit in perfectly which is fine it's just that the back section of the head will just need filing out so that it fits if I can try and figure out how it goes on so that sits on there with magnets so on this bottom section here we're going to have to file out a little groove there for this cable in to fit in which isn't going to be too difficult to do what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the file I'm going to file this section out I am going to just probably get a pen and mark where it needs to be filed just so I know and then I'm going to go file out the little groove and then we'll just come back once that's done. Right guys, as you can see there, I've now filed this out. This file is absolutely perfect for doing this job. She has just got this on point. So all I did was I started off, um, I just had to cut this groove in the back of the head. So I just started off with the top section, just going up and down. And then eventually I managed to get the whole thing through until there is a lip on the back of the head here. So you need to make sure you go further enough so that the cable will actually fit through there. But once that is in place, you'll be able to see that there is now a groove in the back of the head. So absolutely perfect. And that's what we wanted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have a take a look at um, getting the Terminator lifted up onto the stand. And then we need to look at trailing this up the pole and then plugging this into the back of his head to power him up. So we're going to do that right now. Right guys, as you can see, this is the only way I can do it. I've had to lower the table right down just so that we can get the good angle. Uh, so as this is coming out of here, this will go up all the way up here, as you can see. And then it attaches to this back section there. And then that is gonna feed underneath here, like so. And then we do have the stickers that come with it as well. And then that's going to sit just down there and it's going to go basically into the spine. So it can go underneath all the way up. So it will just go all the way up underneath there. And then when it comes up there, it sits in the back head of the spine, which we can glue into place there. So let me just bring it up a little bit more so you can see what I mean. So that will sit in the back section of that spine. But what we need to do is obviously we need to plug it into the head and then we want the spare cable that we have left over down the bottom here. Let's just bring you straight back down. Spare cable that we have in the bottom here. We can just tuck that in out the way afterwards so that can just tuck in around that corner. You can just push away all of the extra bits that you've got in there. So what we're going to do is just going to put that into place and then we're going to show you how we did that in just a sec. Right guys, so now that this section is in place, I just want to show you what I have done. So if I just go to the top here, I'm going to have to go up quite high where all my junk is. You will see the cable in here. So the cable is plugged into the top there on that section. So it's plugged into here and I've just tucked it into where the battery box would have gone just there and I've unscrewed two little screws on either side here and just put the cable up underneath there on that section so that it's underneath this circuit board and then it comes up and loops over the top and then it trails down into the back of the spine on the neck there so that it's in that bit and then you want to allow enough so then you can lift the head up and down still and kind of side to side just enough so you're allowed to do that. And then it comes down here, it goes underneath there, goes around this section here. And then as it goes down, there is the tape that is supplied with the kit, which comes like this. I'm just gonna show you the other ones as well. So I'm just gonna get another piece off, just so you can see. So it looks like this little tab. And I'm gonna bring it down just to show you on this bottom section how it will look. So just come back down here with me. 
and then as you can see here the cable goes down so you want to make sure it's nice and taut as you're bringing it down and then when you get to the very bottom down here what you want to do is just tuck away all that extra excess cable and make sure it's nice and neat there and once once you have it into place and you're happy with it you just put it nice and taut and then you just put the tabs around like so and then the cable in now is all the way to the top so we'll just show you one more time it's coming out of here it's going all the way up here it's going up to there up around here it's going underneath here the section where he's attached all the way up to his head which is up here and then it's sitting inside his back neck spine piece there underneath up and then onto the top there so once that's done you just need to get your filed out head just here and then you just need to pop that on there and then click that into place look how neat that looks what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a nice up close look of this and then we're going to go grab the remote pop some batteries in the remote and then we're going to have a look at him all powered up so let's go do that now The most important part of all of this is you can not see that power cable and that's what you want from the front so check this out. See how neat that is. It's so neat and so well done that it just looks exactly the same as if you had the batteries put in place. So the only way I can really film the Terminator and get him the whole way in to show you this power mod at the end of this is just to film it this way round. So unfortunately this is the only way I can do it to get him in. Right, so we have everything connected, so this is really exciting. The power mod is now plugged in to the back here by this cable. As you can see here, it's on a switch and you can just turn it off and on just by that. So once the power cable is powered on, you will need to make sure you put your AAA batteries in the back of your remote control here. And then you just need to power that on so that your remote has power going to it. There is the switch underneath the skull, which is just here, so make sure you flick that on too. And then when you've done that, then you can operate all the lights. So the back left should be the blue light, and then the front left should be the other blue light, as you can see there. Then the top, the back right should be the red light. Let's do that again. Very responsive on this as well, so. And then the bottom one is the last one, which is just here, which shines it all up really nicely. How cool does that look? Right, so the other thing that's on here as well are the sounds. Uh, we'll play them, they are quite loud, but this is the first one. It does play through quite a bit, but it is quite um, loud and quite... Um, you know, it takes a little while to go through. The second one is this one. It's like a helicopter sort of sound. And then the other one is this last one here. Which I think will be a really cool one when he actually gets the gun installed. So uh, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. As I said, Chloe has allowed us to be able to, later on, we will be able to uh, adapt this so that we can have the plasma rifle as well. 
and it will be connected to that trailing down the arm at some point. I don't know when that's coming, but that is just something to look out for. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. But this is the power mod, as I said. This is all powered, not by batteries, just by electricity. And it's just going to be so much easier. You don't have to keep going out and buy batteries. You don't have to worry about them corroding inside uh, the battery tray. All you need to do is just power it up. Right, so this one here will turn on the lights of the eyes. Don't know if you, I think you have to when you do the eyes. I think you have to take the back of the head off and you have to press. There's a button on the back, so you just press the button on the back just to power them on. There you go. So you just need to power them on that way. But once they're powered on, you will then be able to control it by the remote. So if I turn it off again now, you'll see they'll go off and back on. But you just have to, when you first initially power the whole unit up you just have to flick that button on the back of the head we will do an up close uh, look at those as well at the end so towards the end we'll show you it up close if you press left and right it makes his eyes move so they go left and right It's quite subtle, but it's probably better to see it up close. But we'll do an up close one on that. The mouth uh, goes up and down. I don't know if you can see it moving. Which is pretty cool. But there you go. So. Uh, as you can tell, this power mod is absolutely brilliant. It's just such a great thing. If you haven't got one, please go grab yourself one right now because it's fantastic and it just just finishes this off uh, immensely. It really does. It's so good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you an up-close look at the face so you can see that operating. But look at the colours and everything on there. Doesn't that look absolutely perfect? I, just wanna, I don't even have much light on in here because... I want to make sure you can you can see him lit up really well. So there you go. We're going to um, finish the video here, but make sure you stay to the end so you can see everything lit up. And thanks very much for watching. Now that we've got an up close look, we'll use the remote with the eyes. So if you just press sideways and this way, his eyes will move. And then if we use the up and down arrows here, his mouth will go up and down. And then if we turn the eyes on and off. And there you have it. That's the power mod. Take care now. Bye-bye.